We're back on 1813 Fair Warning, and we are joined with the, the great Brian Sutton of Sutton and Jacobs Law Firm and Dottie Parfait. Guys, you must tell me about uh, this reopening of the American economy. What do we think of it? It's just right on time, am I right? They need to get together and decide for sure what is going on, you know? But, Brian, we have to get American business back open. We have to get Southeast Texas business back open. Well, that's a, that's a nice thing to say. But the real question is, will it actually benefit the economy if we're not doing it correctly? If we open too soon and if we wind up with a bigger problem or as big a problem as we would have had before we did all the social distancing, before we did all the... Uh, prophylactic measures to help prevent the spread and to protect our healthcare workers and not overwhelm our healthcare facilities. If we simply wind up two weeks down the road, three weeks or four weeks down the road, overwhelming our healthcare facilities, our ICU beds, the ventilators, the, the, the people, and people dying, then nobody's going to be satisfied with that either. Uh, it's a bit of a no-win situation, but it seems to me that you should err on the side of caution as opposed to taking a political and economic and a health gamble. Being out of work, this, this that's tough on everybody. Because not everybody's apartments or, or landlords are saying, okay, well, we're just going to let you have a break. They've got car notes to pay. They've got insurance to pay. They've got, you know, I, I, my job is, is down until August. We're not even going back till August 2nd. Wow. And, um, they're going to pay my insurance through June, but after that, I've got to do it. Uh, does anybody think that Tennessee and Georgia and South Carolina, who will be opening parts of their economy uh, as early as Friday, uh, that they're jumping the gun and could send America back into a tailspin in terms of the number of infections? you really believe that? Well, I think, especially, I haven't looked at the other uh, states, but Georgia I checked out, and Georgia had a huge spike yesterday. So, they open everything back up. Yeah, they, I don't necessarily think it would be for everybody, but at least for them, other than people that travel. But yeah, it, it could be a problem. But we have to get Americans back to work or their economic futures are not going to survive. And there's the rub. They'll survive, but... It, 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 it's, it, it may not be a rub because if people are dying and if you overwhelm the economy with death and, and the pandemic, it's not going to be there either. So, you know, now it's something that, that is confusing to me a little bit uh, but I've watched Trump do this. He has he has finally brilliantly left it in the governor's corners to make these decisions, so that he will be able to say, "Well, I, I didn't tell you to do that." Later on, now just like how he typically operates, according to his uh, consigliere lawyer Michael Cohen, he didn't tell any of these governors that this is what they ought to do. And yet they all apparently seem to understand that it's what he wants them to do. And he will not, he will take credit for it if, in fact, it works. If it doesn't work, I promise you, he will say, we never told you to do that. And you didn't read what we told you about 14 days of reduced pandemic disease before him. But that was a yeah. previous plan. He's going to argue. He's a winner either way. That was a previous plan. He always said that the plans could evolve. Understood. Understood. Look, I don't I don't think I don't think politically it's a bad move on his part. It gives him cover no matter what happens. It would be nice though to see some seriously directed leadership. Does anybody ever consider the fact that even though Georgia may be doing this? that people from Georgia still have the right to travel about our entire country and infect the rest of us. It's really not that simple. I mean, if, if it were me and I lived next door, I wouldn't be real happy about having disease running wild next door.
Well, what I can tell you about Insure Life, and particularly uh, Kimberly Tamborella, is that she's always available. And I actually got my, my friend, uh, I think it was like $9,000 in a matter of hours. Several specific cases where we had clients that were going to see a price increase. And in one particular case, they should have gotten a great increase and got like a 10% discount. Saved the employer a ton of money. Let us make health insurance shopping for your employees simple. Give us a call at 409-313-6313. Welcome to the all new Crazy Cajun Restaurant in Beaumont with new staff, new entertainment, and a brand new menu. The all new Crazy Cajun, 2310 North 11th in Beaumont. A new twist on Cajun. I bet you've never seen a sandwich do yoga before. Oh, um... Introducing the new Papadillas for just six bucks. Better ingredients, better pizza, better than a sandwich. Papa John's.